The self-determination theory presented by Barney, an extremely successful man. Oh, hello. Barney, you have achieved great success in business, athletics, and personal relationships, and have been an inspiration to all. What would you recommend to your numerous admirers who want to achieve their highest potential? First thing you need to know about success is that it doesn't just come to you. From birth, people are curious, playful, energetic and eager to learn, which is this very positive and persistent features of human nature. However, when one takes a quick look around the workplace or educational environment, there may be an abundance of individuals who are apathetic, irresponsible, reject growth and responsibility. So such non-optimal human functioning suggests the fact that human nature can either be active or passive, Yes, leaning to the point that human propensity for motivation is more than just biological inheritance. In the real world, motivation concerning all aspects of activation and intention is highly valued for one reason, it produces. <laughs> motivation is often treated as a single entity, however, people can be more motivated to perform if they value an activity, or because there's external pressures. One may behave due to a sense of personal commitment, achievement of goals, and one may also behave due to external pressures from family or superiors in the workplace, for fear of retribution, for example. Comparisons between people whose motivation is self-regulated, as opposed to extremely controlled, are found to have more excitement, confidence, and interest, which have been attributed to greater performance creativity, and vitality. Additionally, a greater self-esteem and general well-being was found for those with self-regulated motivation, even when the participants have the same level of perceived self-efficacy for the activity. Due to the differences between self-regulation and external motivation, the question that is now asked is what kind of motivation is being exhibited at a given time. This is a major focus of the self-determination theory. And I, Barney, a very successful man, will run you through it. The self-determination theory, or SDT, aims to outline the factors that support the innate human potentials involving both intrinsically motivated behaviours, doing an activity for inherent satisfaction for the activity, and extrinsically motivated behaviours, performing the activity in order to achieve a separable outcome. The commitment reflected in intrinsic and extrinsic motivation are most likely to occur for the support of three basic psychological needs, identified as competence, being effective in dealing with the environment one is in, relatedness, the inherent quality of wanting interaction and caring experience, and autonomy, the ability of being a causal agent to one's own life. A sub-theory through an SCD is known as Cognitive Evaluation Theory, CET, that aims at specifying social and environmental factors that facilitate intrinsic motivation. Focusing on the fundamental needs for competence, and autonomy, CET argues that the social contextual environment and events such as feedback and rewards that help bring out feelings of competence through an action can consequently enhance intrinsic motivation for that action. Relatedness, also attributed to intrinsic motivation, was observable at an early age through the behaviour of the infant that is securely attached to a parent. Therefore, under SDT, intrinsic motivation is more likely to thrive in interpersonal settings characterised by security and relatedness. Although important, intrinsic motivation is not the only type of self-determined motivation. The question that remains is how individuals acquire the motivation to carry out non-intrinsically motivated behaviours. Internalisation and integration of the requested behaviour is attributed by, to the varying degrees of the extrinsic motivational contingencies. Internal, Internalisation is an individual taking in a value or regulation, and integration is a further transformation of that regulation so that it will stem from their sense of self. To explain, Michel inspires to one day open his own aquarium and needs high grades in order to achieve his dream. He completes all his classwork to a high standard, although has said to his family and friends many times that he does not enjoy it. Myself, on the other hand, can attribute my extreme success to the high external pressures of my parents and sponsors during school. So who is extrinsically motivated? Both Michelle and I are, however both behaviours vary in their relative autonomy. 
To conclude, SDT is concerned with the motivation behind the choice that people make without any external influence and interference. It also focuses on the degree to which individuals' behaviour is self-motivated and self-determined.